Hello internet, this is Pratish back with a brand new video. In this video, I will be teaching you how can you use our latest application Eel Creator in order to create modern application. First thing first, you need to install it or download it from the description. So make sure to go to our GitHub page and simply clone it. Now after cloning, you will get a Eel Creator and this model file. Now these are the template which you can create in order to use this application. So this is a basic HTML, let me open it up and here you can see that this is the final application and this looks somewhat like this. Here you have the URL and a name type and a file type and this is it and it got a button also. So what I'm gonna be doing is use our eel creator to make a modern application. So you need to first install the eel on your system. Just tip install eel on your terminal or prompt. Now just open this eel creator and after that you will see that a web file will be opened up here. Now what you need to do is transfer all those additional files like the index.html and style file into the web folder. Now make sure that you should follow every single step curiously and precisely. Now open up the app.py and you will see that your application will be running over here. Now this is the file, you can just click on this download icon and here you can give the input. So this is it, how it's gonna be working. So after that been done, just open up any code editor. So in this case we will be using VS Code, let me open it up. Here we are inside our code editor and open up the folders. So today we will be using the light theme, hopefully. And here we got different kind of file. So make sure to open up this app.py file and you will see a whole bunch of code somewhat like this. This data is dummy. This automatically created by our eel creator. Now you can go over to this web folder and open up the index.html and you can see a bunch of codes over right here and main.js and you can see a lots of file hovering over here. Now there are some things that we need. First of all, we need to edit this main.js file. So what you need to do is cut here, command x to cut the file and now hit enter and command v to paste it. Now what I'm gonna be doing is just cutting up these files, this data value. So you can see that our index have only three data. So I will cut every single thing over here and we got the three data. Now open up the index.html and you will see a id class over here. So there are three id, basically data, file name and file kind. So you want to put this id into your main.js file. Now I have already created a tons of tutorial on eel. So you make sure to watch them by going to our description or checking out our channel. Now what I'm going to be doing is changing this value. So first thing I will be changing it into file name or file kind. So let's change it. And the second one is kind of file kind. And there you go. Now save them all. Now make sure to cut them over to here. And let's cut them all and paste them over here. Command V to paste them over here. Let's adjust the spacing somewhat like this now we will be getting the value of data 1 data 2 and data 3 through our python so you need to open up the app.py over here you can see we got the app.py now just here we need to pass in the three variable or three parameters that we are going to be needing for this project let's say data 2 and data 3 so these are the three and let's say I want to print those value and let pass in the data 1 data 2 and data 3 and there you go we have all the file set up over here now control s or command s on your Mac to save it now open up your main.js file 
and you can see here that yield dot function will basically just retrieve the data from this variable and send it to the app dot py over here so what i'm going to be doing is sending all the file from here so let's say data 2 and also data 3 command s to save it and now you can see that we are just exposing this function and getting the value by the main.js make sure that you should change the type into text or button password something like that so once that is done let's save this project command s to save it let's open up our project so run this file and you can see you have to enter any values over here so let me enter the values so i have entered some dummy data over here now click on this button and close this application let's see yeah we are getting the data from the website to our python site so this is how it's gonna be working you can easily create modern application by using our application this is really cool great and even though it's better to use and simplified one also you make sure that you should set the on click to function one of the type button you can see there a class and on click function one so make sure to do so to run this application so this is it guys how to use our latest tool yield creator in order to create modern looking application with just a single click so this is it i hope this tutorial was really helpful and if it was helpful then consider subscribing and hit the like button below i will meet you on another tutorial until then keep coding